Testing, testing. There we go. How's it going? Whoops. <laughs> that uh, d generally doesn't happen. But you know what? <laughs> I'm getting used to the idea that every time I start streaming, everything gets fucked up. Like, I haven't even finished the titling on here. Oh my god. Uh, off into the wonders of Age of Wonders 4. I guess that's <laughs> what we're gonna do. Oh man. Oh man, I can't believe that I, I'm I'm so underprepared right now. I'm not even kidding you. I was I got distracted. I'm sorry. That's really my fault. <clears throat> but anyways, we are continuing with Age of Wonders 4, I promise. Um anyways, let, keep on saying anyways. Uh, it's the biggest problem I ever have. We're gonna go ahead and get started by uh talking. Two, three, four. All right, uh, so <clears throat> thanks to good old Nasarni, shout out to Mr. Squeaky himself. He um, donated a game for this weekend's random game. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. He, it's basically something that we both uh, uh, know about and scheduled already for Saturday morning. So get look, uh, look forward to that. Uh, that game is specifically from Nasarne, so um, huge shout out, and we'll shout out again on Saturday, and we will definitely have fun playing. It, it's a game that I actually was looking forward to playing for a little bit, so <clears throat> definitely fun, fun. And there's a huge sale going on, on <clears throat> a big, huge summer sale going on on Steam, so go ahead and check that out. There's many, 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 many games. Um, I had so much uh, on sale on my wish list that it couldn't even notify me for any of them, really. Mm. But I got some good ones, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some. Uh, there's a few janky ones that I thought, you know what, might as well mix it up, give it a little bit of an indie try, and uh, try out some games that may have tried to get into a game that we've played before that is mainstream. Um... But failed miserably. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say fail miserably. I guess, like, in its own right, it's probably its own little game, whatever. But, you know, you, you always have your uh, your titan of gaming industries. And uh, <clears throat> we're well aware of it. We know. We, we hate it, but we, we understand it and have to accept it deep down secret in our hearts that we're sellouts to. <laughs> we're like, fuck you, corporate America. God damn it, I, I want to really buy this game. You know, those kind of things. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at today. Uh, today we're going to play, uh, be playing Age of Wonders 4, as you already know. It is on the title right now um, for you guys on YouTube. Uh, please don't forget to check me out live, 9.30ish kind of thing going on. Uh, and you can check out all my scheduling at twitch.tv slash en underscore dro. You can check out the links. They're all over the uh, place. And you can also check out my profile. Don't forget to visit Discord, where me, Nisarne, and uh, the Faceless Lady come and conversate and hang out. And you could be part of that crew, too. And you can also join a, a special server that we dedicated to doggies. Um, in theme with the doggy news that I have down here below. If you haven't checked that out already, go ahead and check it out. It's a little cute little cartoon. I'm not done with it, but I'm working on my banner, but there will be more to come, I promise. But, uh, <clears throat> aside from that, we're going on doggy news. Uh, we have our own little area where you can share your own doggy news and talk about your dogs and see if anybody else can share your interests or maybe help you out. You never know. Um, I got some good information from Nasarne, funny enough, and, uh, you know, he's actually, it's actually helped with uh, walking Ophelia. So Ophelia is a much better walker, and she is a lovely partner to have. Uh, it's great to have her uh, go and easy not pulling me on a leash on our walks. So it's really nice. So go ahead and check us out there. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started because I've talked enough. And uh, yeah, I could talk about Ophelia for hours, so... Before we get into that, let's go ahead and start the game so that way we don't have that problem later. All right. 
Game capture. Oh uh, yeah, it's gotta do this stupid ass shit where um, I I don't I don't really care for launchers. Like if I if I press play on my game, I want it to start automatically. <laughs> I understand that people they they benefit from like advertising stuff and whatnot, and I guess people like their events, but I just don't give a shit. Maybe it's just because I'm just an old man and I'm grumpy. Rada, 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 rada. Bah humbug. Go ahead and take off that loading screen. I know Nasarne uh, was interested in this stream. He'll probably check it out. If he doesn't come in today, he'll probably, uh, he'll probably check it out later. He said he was really interested in this one. I actually really enjoyed it. It was actually one of my favorites. That's why I put it on the mainstream uh, gaming. Um, it's slightly better than uh, Planet Side. Slightly. Not by much, just slightly. I think there's more customization on this one, and that's what I like about it. You could do more. Plus, I like the, the, like the theme. It's like a fantasy, sci-fi, and uh, something else mixed together. I'm trying to think the of it. power old anyway, this time open. has returned. Free from their imprisonment, ancient wizard kings come. All right. Seeking lost magics. Let us go and, and be merry. Watching press debate at the same time and trying to see who has the most brains of left by the Trump or the <laughs> you know I'm gonna win that. Obviously, Trump and Biden are fucking retards. <clears throat> well, I won't. I won't uh, knock out uh, Trump. He is a business savant. When it comes to business, he fucking runs the shit. And powerful That that explains why my neighbors. When I walk the dog, I usually stop by the neighbors. They love Ophelia, so I could let Ophelia go and visit them. And so we got into a conversation and they were, they were asking me about politics and I wasn't understanding why. I'm like, this is a random off-base conversation, but hell, let's go there. Like, it's very rare that somebody has an interest on, like, what I think about politics. So when I talk about politics, it's actually interesting, to say the least. Was I in the middle of a battle last time I won? I think I was. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and manual combat this shit. What the fuck is this? Ruffle Paul Bear is moving. All right, Mr. Ruffles. Last time I lost uh, everybody. As long as they're in reach, I think we're okay. Just noticed that I have damage already on my guy. No! This slows me down. You're a fucking funeral, bro.
Okay, it's temporary, but at least it'll do something. On the other hand, I feel like could be the most intelligent player of them all. <laughs> could be. Could be. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You're not right, man. You are not right. As much as I'd like to shoot this fucking guy, I can't. Because I don't have any long range attacks right now. What is this? Just close enough to hit his ass. Just close enough to hit his ass. <laughs> Take that, fucker. You dirty dick cheese. <laughs> I've never called anybody a dirty dick cheese, but it felt good. It felt good. It felt great. Get stabbed, bitch. <clears throat> Get wrecked. Why not get a little brave, right? You only live once. Woo stepping back, but I'm going to keep on stepping forward and stabbing the shit out of me. <laughs> How dare you! Oh, yeah, that's... That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I wonder why. The, when it, uh, I see the OBS right here, and it doesn't show exactly what I'm doing. No, no, it's, it's showing that it's picking up. I don't understand why it's not showing anything other than that. 
Hello. Can I talk to you about your car insurance? Hello? Hello? Maybe it's hard to hear me when it's the music is playing and it's not hitting yellow, maybe? I don't know. I can't go any higher on the uh, dubs. It's on max. It is maxed out, my friend. Cannot go any further. It might be that the music is too loud. Possibly. But you know what? It is some badass fucking music. <laughs> and who wants to listen to my ass? Ah! 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 You know, I forgot I just had soda. Take a look at audio and see if we can't just adjust it a smidgen. Let's go 70. Maybe a little bit better now. It could be that I was mumbling. I don't know. I I generally don't mumble too much. It might be how, like, I position myself. So if I'm talking away this way. So, for example, if I'm going like this, you probably wouldn't hear me as good as if I was, like, right here and talking this way. I guess it's really all about positioning. But I, I have it set so it's not super sensitive because I'm, like, literally right next to the, um, right behind me is the air conditioning unit. And when it starts to go, it just hums. And it hums loud. Like, as a matter of fact, as soon as I open that door, all you hear is... Oh, that's all you hear is straight air conditioning. It's overworking, I know, because it's been... Um, over here, it's been like 90 degrees. And my wife is not having it. She's very heat sensitive. So she's like, no, I, I will pay that extra $100, $200 to have fucking a cool house so this thing has been fucking oh <laughs> i've already had to change the filter out twice that's how fucking ridiculous it is it's a possibility it's weird, because usually when I listen to my YouTube, I'm usually used listening to it with my headphones. I don't like how I sound on the phone for whatever reason. I think it's probably the speaker on my phone. It just, I don't know, that reverberation from my voice. I know that my voice is very odd. <clears throat> it's not a normal type voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's unique. But, like, every time I, I talk and I hear it through the phone, it just it has that vibration, like... I'm hearing it from a walkie-talkie, and one of my biggest, it's so weird, one of my biggest pet peeves is the static from a walkie-talkie. I hate it. It, it just makes me want to just punch a baby. <laughs> just, not literally, but, so, like, I just, I just, I can't take it. I, it, makes, it drives me absolutely insane, if I'm being completely honest. Yes, your voice is on. That's not just you. We all agree. <laughs> well, damn. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I've been practicing all sorts of voices. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger or, you know, <clears throat> Brock Sampson. Mr. Krabs. Patrick. What else? What else have I impersonated lately? I don't even remember. I used to be I used to have a plethora and as I got older my voice became really weird, so it was hard to mimic the um <clears throat> the voices that I used to. Like boy a uh, boy dro was very very you know good at it. I don't know. When I got older I just couldn't I can only do certain voices. Alright, let's go ahead and continue. Because I fucking won. 
As the sun melts the last of the ice, the sound of quacking returns to the spring. The white witch fades, her voice a faint cool breeze. I am but a remnant of the queen who once ruled here. She raided the warm lands, preserving all life in ice. Frozen markers lead to her treasure vault, but now they melt. You notice in the last traces of ice, there is some kind of map detailing the hiding place of a lost treasure. No time to delay. My secrets melt away. The fast-melting symbols are nearly gone. Result. All cities of your empire affects one. Gain 21 city stability for six turns. Hmm. What should I get? Ooh. A bow of dragon slaying? Would I be able to hold it? Let's see. I want to see my stats here. All right, buddy. What do you got for me? Can we can we give you a long range weapon? That's a beast, bitch. <laughs> now I look like a fucking hunter, man. Now I look like I match with my my wolf. This is a nice bow too. All right, <clears throat> come from. We out of here. We got what we came for. All right, doggy power. What is this? I feel like I should investigate this more. Let's take a look. Nice. Hey, there's a guy who wants to fight me. We'll talk about that later. There's treasure right there, so I'm gonna go. Alright. We still haven't got you enough soldiers to even do damage. Oh my god. These turns are taking forever. I guess we could just make them guard duty. And then that way we'll just select them when we're ready for them. I should have done that before. Because that was annoying. Fuck! <sighs> Why does it take forever to build an army? Looks good. Alright. Let's go fuck his day up. I know I'm injured, but we can still manage. Just two people. We can do this. I'll probably come back with a black eye or two. Alrighty then. Alright, Ripple Paul Bear. I forget I have a bow now, so I can shoot from front long range, and it looks beautiful. Oh my god. Alright, first of all, let's have them heal. I 
I gotta be careful because those long range attacks will fuck me up. You lost my stream. <laughs> no conspiracy here. No, not at all. I lost your stream. Yeah, it's a conspiracy, man. We all know. best. Fucking poison. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Victory. I better get healed up soon. Okay. Just <laughs> uh, stay guard here. Wait, hold on. Hopefully, that'll heal me up real good. And now, let's see what we got here. Rainbow Clover. Unlock some fusion in the item for, uh, forge related to spirit damage, spirit resistance, morale, and critical chance. Unique global effect. Plus 100 relations with three cities and rulers. Left it in Star Trail. To be honest with you, I, I only play on um, stream. So if I was to play online, it would be with a friend and I haven't played with anybody, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Um, but I haven't like seen any complaints about it that often. I mean, I guess it really all depends on your internet connection, really. But this is just coming for me. I mean, take it with a grain of salt, if, if you will. 
Arcane research. What do we got here? The next tome is in three research cycles. Got one more turn for Vine Prison. Ooh all right, the free city shares 30% of its income. Oh yeah, shares all of its magic materials. Contributes to uh, whatever the hell that symbol is. It looks like a horn with like a, a flag on it from looking at it. I just have to like squint to see it. Oh, I hate being old. <laughs> uh, shares all of its magical materials. Honestly, if Desarne decided that he wanted to uh, jump on here, I'd play with him. I'm like, Desarne, let's go ahead and fuck some shit up together. And he'll be like, I'm going to secretly destroy you, but I'm going to uh, play along for a little while. He stations like an army all around my base. I'm exploring with him. And then all of a sudden, he's like, ah, you know what? Betrayal! I believe that's the kind of relationship me and Nisarne would have on this. Brings a tear to my eye. Uh, okay. Trading costs are at default levels. War coordination becomes available. Next up, bonded vassalage. I thought that... Oh, okay. We want Supreme Vassalage. Yeah! Was this different before? Did they change this? They might have. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I like it the way it is. I guess we could boost it. go now star trail will do my bidding <laughs> and i don't have to do anything i don't even have to manage it that's the beauty of a free city even though i don't get the full resources i don't have to fucking manage it i can help them prosper and grow and then if i want to be a dickhead about it i could just take them over later perfect free city and i don't even have to manage it like i said i don't have to do nothing let them do everything for me. Absolutely not, Nisarna. And we both know that you're a very smart man. So, I don't think you would have any problem stopping my face in if you so chose to. I'm not going to fucking sit here and say that I can be a coder at a strategy game. That would be insanity. But if I did win, I would definitely fucking gloat. I'm not gonna lie. I will gloat. But only because you're a smart guy. That's it. That's the only reason I would gloat. But I would not play with you just to gloat. No. I respect your intelligence, sir. I respect your intelligence. Mostly because I have to, because I'm a fucking dumbass. But we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Did my guys heal up yet? How am I going to do that? Yeah, they're still healing up. Oh, yeah. I would hate for their morale to be any lower than it is. There are many paths to victory in this realm, but they all need the right strategy. You can expand your empire far and wide to become the dominant power within the realm. Use magic to bend the very land to your will. Or use force and military prowess to crush all those who stand in your way. Evaluate your progress to victory by tracking a victory condition through the quest panel on the top left. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I don't really fucking give a shit. I'm not here to win. I'm here to experience. I know damn well that I'm not gonna, like, be the best. But I do know that every failure still is a win. You still gain levels. You still gain bonuses. 
I know that you, uh, there are, like, certain things you carry over, like, or, like, I noticed this because I played the Planetfall version. Uh, you carry over uh, certain stats over from every run that you do, and then for the next map, you still carry those bonuses on your leader. Of course, your main character and your army. So the army of Ruffle, as I am, will be stronger the next run I do, which is cool. So I'm not really worried about winning at all. Yep. We're gonna stand guard. Fine prison. All right. <clears throat> this should be interesting. This will make fighting so much fucking easier. All right, what do we want to get? I think I want to do poison arrows. Although the enchanted pro companion is pretty good too. Giving my scouts some crow companions probably do me some good. And then I'll have to be all up and close and personal. Oh, choices, choices, ah. All right, I'm gonna go with enchanted crow. I'll regret this later. I know I will. I have this feeling. I have this gut feeling I'm going to regret this decision. But it's okay. Alright, so what shall we build uh, to expand our city? There are many things. There are many choices. So, let's go over what we have. We have a granary. We have a library. We have a shrine. We have a storehouse. And I know we have two mines. I don't think we have anything else mine-wise that we can use. But you can never be... You can never have too much food. If I'm being completely honest here. <laughs> you can never have too much food! So let us make a farm. But which way should I build? Mmm. That's a plus five. They're all plus fives, it looks like. Well, wait a minute. That's a... I might be able... I might, I might go with that pasture, because I just saw the bonuses on that. And as much as I want to do a quarry, I know that food is really important too. So let's do that because that is sexy. Look at that beast. Look at that beauty. Mm. Ah, pastures. Taking it. Let's feed my people. Gallup just released a new poll. Ophelia would win by 57% if vote was held today. <laughs> Alright there, Desarne. Alright. I see where you're going here. I see where you're going. You guys are still not healed up? Hurry up and heal. Respond to heroes offer to join. Here, you can recruit a new hero. Ooh. If your hero capacity allows it. Your hero cap increases over time, but you can spend Imperium to increase it immediately. Local heroes originate from your own realm. Once you have developed your pact with a free city, their experienced heroes will become available to you too. Heroes who originate from other free cities have their own culture and abilities. The Imperium cost up, uh, increase your hero cap immediately is based on how many turns are left for it to increase normally. Okay. Bitch. This is cool. Hold on. Hmm. 
Hmm. A field medic? What the fuck is a spell thief? Game plus for combat casting with hostile. Okay. So basically, she just already has an advantage in the beginning. What is a dude being seductive for? Ponder the anointer? Come on. Why are you being seductive for it? You know, little nasty hoe. <laughs> Grants a base 60% chance of making target enemy unit become dominated for three turns. <laughs> if unsuccessful, the unit is distracted instead. What the fuck, dude? Come on, man. Field man. While army leader, a unit. While army leader, units in the army heal five hit points after combat. Uh, I mean, that's all right. I, I wouldn't say that's really that great, though. What the special in your? You know what? I might go with this one. I might go with the special province and uh, improvement cost tw uh, minus 25% less gold and production in this governor's city. Oh, yes. He could just stand guard in my city and I'd get, uh, garner this bonus. stand there and look pretty. Oh, he gave me a level three. Alright. Let's do this. Excuse me. The Ride for Vengeance! It's a battle quest. Falco Astrodal approaches you. I was a lonely child, he explains. And you realize you're in for a long story. <laughs> the only friend I had was my pet unicorn mount, Arcana. I love that beast. His expression darkens. But then, the dread spider matrix came and attacked our village. Everyone ex fled except for me and Arcana. She died protecting me. On that day I swore I'd have my revenge on that dread spider matriarch and its kin. And now I've tracked it down. The killer of my best friend. Will you help me kill the dread spider matriarch and get my revenge? I don't know, man. I can't say no to him. That's like saying, eh, fuck you. No, I can't do that. And plus, there's a mystery bonus. Ooh, mystery. You shall have your revenge. We shall fight. Oh, he looks tough. Well, that's not going to be fun. You stay there. Negotiates and succeeded. Woo! I became a bonded vassalage. Good news. Proceed. These are very, very good news. Jeez. 
she is my border collie doggy. I love Ophelia. She's my baby. Oh yes, and I can't wait for Delilah. Hopefully, uh, I get Delilah on this uh, next um, this next litter because I'm really looking forward to it. So finally, could I feel it would stop being up my butt all day? I'm just kidding. I like, well, I don't know. Sometimes I do need the space, but mostly because I want to work, not because I don't like spending time with anybody. Damn, they're asking for 108 to boost it. Worth it, man. Take it, bro. Take it. If it'll help us become closer, I will spend whatever it takes. What's integrated mean exactly? Hold on. City ownership is given to the Empire forging this pact. Ceases to exist as a diplomatic entity. The free city lord can be recruited as a hero from the Empire forging this pact. Any whispering stone will be released. Oh shit, so that's what integration is. Okay. And I get a hero on top of that? So basically, all I'm doing is I'm putting experience into this. And then if I want to keep it. I get a hero out of that. All right, I think we can end turn safely. soon one more um, one more soldier and then we're gonna be good to go and then we're gonna rush this fucking spider hopefully we will kill it on time next turn buddy we're gonna go I promise I'm excited for it too we're gonna go we're gonna fuck shit the storehouse sweet how much what we got left on here hmm. looks like we're getting boosts too I'm gonna get another arcanist I kind of want to wish. I, I kind of want to wait another turn so I can get the Arcanist, uh, Arcanists to like level up with my characters. But I don't know how long this quest is going to stay up. Hold on. What's the quest? turn on the crow this is the empire development tree here you will specialize your empire towards certain play styles increase your empire's affinity to open more options
You will progress toward unlocking your next Empire skill every turn, depending on your affinity values. Once unlocked, you can spend Imperium to obtain the Empire skill. Unlike research, the Empire skills provide more passive bonuses and activate immediately upon selection. You know what I'm just thinking? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that uh, those puppy blues as soon as I know I'm gonna get puppy blues as soon as I start dealing with the new puppy. So I'm trying to boost my 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 myself up because I know it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm just like, oh, I remember how much work it was to get Ophelia to choosing obey me. a tone will alter your <laughs> affinity, which represents your attunement to specific cosmic forces. It can also be altered by picking a signature skill for your ruler. You will require a large amount of specific affinity to unlock higher tiers of tomes. I remember... I don't know if it's just because of Ophelia's breed. I don't know why, uh, what makes her act the way she does. But, like, I remember the first time, like, I started training her on her food. And we're, we're like, basically, to, to kind of uh, put into more detail, I, I was training her to not be possessive over her food so she doesn't get, like, territorial and angry and uh, vicious when you go near her while she's eating. <clears throat> so, basically, the steps are... <laughs> oh god i remember her puppy breath oh god i still remember ophelia when she was such a little baby oh my gosh she's so cute though she's still cute now but she was so adorable she was not any anyways uh off topic off topic i, I um <laughs> I, I remember, like, she she literally, like, was fucking biting my hand. Like, she was pissed. Because, like, I basically had to hold her back from the bowl to make her sit. Because, basically, you're training her to sit. But, uh, like, I trained her to sit outside of the food situation. And then while we're dealing with the food, basically, I tell her to sit. And uh, I put the food in front of her. And, you know, usually... You just build, you pull the food away and you're like, no, sit. And, I, I, you know, you do the hand gesture and whatnot. But <laughs> she didn't give a fuck. Dude, she was like, I'm not, she was not having it. She was like, no, I don't give a shit. I'm not sitting for nothing. Give me the food. She was climbing me, dude. She was literally climbing up my leg. She wanted that fucking food. So I had to approach her differently. So I sat the bowl down. And I was basically holding her. And she is fighting tooth and nail. She's trying to get to that fucking food. She is not. She is not caring. She. I'm like literally like with all my might, just holding her back. And and she's a puppy. She's like a baby puppy, but she wants that. She's biting me. She's like get off, get off me. No, get off me. Biting me and everything. Just going nuts. Just. <laughs> it literally took me like five fucking minutes of her fucking struggling for her to finally stop and realize she's not getting any food. Until she sits the fuck down. And it, that was like the biggest help for me. And I didn't realize that it was only going to get worse from then on. And it was just one thing piled on top of another thing. It was, it was, oh God, it was such a pain in the ass to deal with her. <laughs> the puppy kisses. Oh. No, I, I, I. I have her recently. She's still a puppy, so I can still remember the 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 horrible time. It's still vivid in my memory. I I, I do remember how dis how like absolutely she did not give two flying fucks what you had to say about what she needed to be doing. I remember. She's still that same way because it's hard to forget something when she's still exactly the same way sometimes. Are spells which allow you to empower your armies. They apply to all units with a specific role and cost upkeep for each unit affected. These enchantments often synergize with units or spells from the same tome. Uh, 
And sometimes, like, the hardest thing that I'm breaking her from right now is that she thinks that I'm a play thing. She thinks that when we're inside, that's playtime. All day playtime. And I'm just, I'm trying to get her used to not wanting to play all the time. Well, knowing that I don't want to play all the time. So I'm trying to, like, teach her how to give me space. And I tried, I tried putting her outside and letting her be free for, like, a half an hour. And then bringing her back inside. You know. And then laying her down on her bed and just chilling while we watch TV. I tried doing that, but that didn't work out. Oh, God. There was a... What was it? There was another thing that I did. Oh, I tried giving her like an hour walk to see if that tuckered her out. She was still wanting to play. <laughs> she just does not care. So now it's gotten to the point where now I, I basically I basically will play for a little bit and then I'll have to basically interrupt playtime. Even though I'm I, I could still play, I have to interrupt her in the middle of it. I'm like, hey, no, no more. And she'll drop the toy and she'll walk away. Which is good. <laughs> but then she'll come back like twenty minutes later, she'll want to do the same thing. So we we're we're working on it. Slowly. Oh, man. Her teeth were fucking awful. She still, she still likes to uh, mouth on me. If I don't have, like, something in my hand to give her to bite on, she still likes to mouth on me. Which, generally, I could just, like, basically move my hand and swat her face away from my hand. And I'll do that until I, I'll tell her, hey, stop. And she'll stop. For like 10 minutes. <laughs> and then she'll start again. Uh, she's a pain in the butt, but she's my pain in the butt, I guess. Unit enchantments or spells which allow you to empower your armies. They apply to all units with a specified with a specific role and cause no feet for each unit affected. These enchantments often synergize with units or spells from the same Gotcha. Man, how are you going to fare with a bunch of level 1s? Alright, now we have two armies fighting at once. I've never done this before, so this should be an interesting fight. You come out. Looks like everybody's up and ready to go. Damn, dude, I got a fucking army. I feel bad for these spiders now. Is it time for guerrilla warfare? Because there's a lot of trees around here. Alright, there's Ripple Paul Bear. He's got a pretty decent range. But, unfortunately, none of the cover will allow him to attack them. I don't want to get swarmed either, so I gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and take cover here. That's a lot of army power. <laughs> that's a that's a buttload of army power. Be that way up, Wade. Am 
might trade one of my magic users for a spear user. Monsters at 50. Alright, you fucked up, dude. You just walked right into the trap. You fell into my trap card. Do, 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 do. Yu -Gi -Oh! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Chat, do you think Drill will be supreme in this fight? <laughs> we shall see, won't we? Uh, let's get a good view. Let's go ahead and start off with our melee fighters. Spiders are fucking tough. <laughs> well, damn, dude. Took my whole damn army just to do a dent. I'm not playing these games with these people. You, go stabby stabby. care of that business let's move on to the next fucking bullshit here hmm. The next is to go and then turn since they're all my melee fighters in the forefront. We don't have to worry about my magic users getting attacked. Damn, all three of them. No vote of confidence for drill. I guess that's not a surprise, actually. <laughs> I can't believe you got me there, man. Using the silence against me like that. Alright. 
Let's start off strong. Stabby, stabby. That retaliation's gonna hurt. We'll hold off on that for now. I'll see what I can do. I guess this is the only cover I'll be able to get. I get shot at. Seven damage. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm just like, Jesus, please. Take that jet to the base. I shouldn't worry too much about retaliation. Zappity zap zap. He's getting jumped. kind of retaliation he's going to do now. Morale is low. Ooh. <laughs> I've got it really close. Oh, no. Nobody's dying today. Oh. Victory is mine. Definitely need a rest, though. <laughs> that poor guy. He got fucked up. You successfully hunted down and killed the Dread Spider Matriarch. Falco Astrodol bows his head. Finally, it is done. Arcana, my old friend. You have been avenged! He looks up. Thank you, Astro Lord Ruffle Paul Bella! This means a lot to me. Tell me what I can do to repay you. <laughs> Falco Ostradol is grateful for your help in his quest for vengeance. What do you ask for in return? Hey. Damn. 
damn, dude. I don't know. Should I give him a mount or should I give him a, a draft points? Because that's sick, dude. All right, man. Take take a long nap. Enjoy your night and enjoy your Game of Thrones. I will catch you later, buddy. Anyways, speaking of which, oh yeah, we still got plenty of time. I think we're gonna go ahead. Get yourself a new mount. Let's take a look at what he's got. We got a new mount. His little death beetle. Hey, that's cool as fuck, though. Look at that shit. Star, very fast type uh, cavalry unit type pestilence escape. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go heal my buddies up here. coming in hot after two turns which is hey okay with me hmm I need some wood too it's a good wood area. I mean I want to I'm obviously gonna do the quarries here these two quarries I'll do I'm thinking about wood here Looks like there's really no difference. And it looks like the, the farm area is pretty much the same. We got, ooh, we could do a dredger quarry. I've never heard of that before. Or we could do a fish farm. Ooh, fish farm. Delicious. What the fuck is this? Build a nautical research post. <gasps> we gotta build it. We must do it. I just felt like we should. <laughs> now that you have a sufficient army, you are ready to expand and conquer. Armies are expensive, so put them to good use. Send them out to with a hero to gain experience, discover new nodes, or potential city locations. Well, first I'm gonna heal them. He's fucked. Yay! I got an enchanted crow companion. Gets two vision range on the world map. Okay. So, what is this? Grant enchanted very fast enchanted units very fast movement. That's a interesting thing. Affects unit types. Let's do poison arrows this round. I was looking at it before and I just want it. It's a hero level though, huh? Oh, fuck who Astrodol you did, huh? What should we give you? Hmm. Well, I kinda wanna keep you on melee. Gotta give him a poison weapon. It wouldn't be right without it. Plus, look at that poison beetle, dude. 
That thing's a beast! Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm finding this to be an entertaining moment. So many crap. Fuck yeah. The spell upkeep is 15, huh? Empire development skill? Nice. <laughs> Going straight nature on this bitch. New rally. You have opened the Rally of the Leeches overview. Here, you can rally armies from your vassals and conquered ancient wonders. The amount of units you can rally is determined by how many vassals and ancient wonders you own. Come back to the rally. What is the rally though? Cities that are loyal to the proposed draftable units. Oh. I do like a spell shield. We have the support unit. Mm. Well. Sweet. No, I don't think I need to do all that. But well, that was an interesting way of doing things. I don't know. Oh, I think uh, the rally is basically every once in a while they get more stuff to do. I don't know. Nice. You could really keep your units alive if you go this nature's route. Let's see. Immediately summon a spirit wolf with guardian spirit resurgence. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do we got? Okay, well, I think that's pretty much all I got on that one. And to turn. Haste berries acquired. Oh, nice. Who am I enchanting? <clears throat> Look at all my scouts floating around, looking like ghosts. <clears throat> Yee! A signature skill is available. What? Where? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What's under defenses, though? Center defense, minus one defense, minus one status resistance, stacks up to five times. Center defense counters, bolstered defense. Center resistance. Okay. So basically, I. It's a berserker move. But 30% damage, that's. It's a hard hitting move. Damage sustained by a target friendly unit is transferred to this unit with a 50%. Summons a render tier 3 animal unit. This summon lasts for 3 turns. Friendly units in 1 hex radius gain rally, bolster defense, and bolster resistance. Summon a random tier 3 undead unit. Alright, well, I think I like this animal. I'm going to give you the ability to summon animals. I didn't know such a thing could exist. comes out. I'm not going to create any more yet. I kind of want to recuperate because right now I'm like at plus 35 gold and I do want to accumulate but I want to keep I want to keep my overhead at a steady roundabout figure between anywhere between 30 and 40. Preferably 40. There's that. So we'll just have to wait to expand and go from there. I think it's almost high time that we found another city, though. The Star Trail can now be integrated. Our dim diplomatic state with Star Trail is now flourishing vassalage. I wouldn't even fuck with it. Just let it go. <clears throat> I can't even integrate anymore. Because uh, it's 360. So. I could even boost an alliance if I wanted to. Or allegiance. It's cool though. I'm pretty much there. At this point, my relations will just improve. And we'll just be from there. Star Trail. I'd like to know why my place is called Star Trail 6 and there's a Star Trail 7. I don't know how I feel about that. received an official invitation from the friendly sage of Star Trail, the great astral lord Paul Bear. We of Star Trail hereby humbly invite you to join the name day celebration of our sage Falad's Astrodome. We would be honored if you would attend, and we look forward to your gift. 
You are invited to celebrate the name day of Felid Astrodol. What gift will you bring? Just to spend 160. Why not? Pick up my my army, and I guess uh, I can't see very up there yet. So let's go ahead and fuck this thing up here. Kind-hearted Nevein. He doesn't look very kind-hearted, but I guess appearances can be deceiving in this game. Chieftain Jord Warbuck of the Free City Nevheim greets you with some reverence. Salutations, Astral Lord Ralph Ruffle Pallbearer. Your reputation precedes you. It gives us hope to meet an Astral Lord who shares our beliefs. We look forward to learning from you, and we trust you to respect Nevheim's territory and independence. Give Wardrobe one of your spin stones to start a negotiation and gradually improve their allegiance with you. Let's inspect the name. Damn, Mayfheim's all the way over there? Good hope for the future. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to know why the fuck this place has the same name as my place. I'm the only Star Trail that needs to be around here. What the fuck? How fucking dare they? Uh, well, I'm not mad about it. Well, it's another free city. But let me go ahead and finish off my relationship with Star Trail, and then we'll we'll hang out with you, Nilhan. No offense. All right. Let's go ahead and handle the situation. You can now create a bounty. You have encountered another ruler. They will be your biggest roadblock to victory, but they may also prove to be powerful allies. Well. This overview will show you in-depth information about another ruler, their personality, treaties, and current relations with you. Respect the other ruler and decide if this is someone you wish to forge an alliance with, to defeat, or anything in between. Hmm. Valley is both freedom and alliances, huh? I guess we could send him a welcome gift. I accept this gesture of goodwill, Ruffle Paul Bearer. Thank you. Stab me later. I'm not 
we're even trying to play that game. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold the fuck up. Wait a damn minute. What did I just see in the, uh, the Discord? Who the fuck? If you sell his info, I want it's 30%. <laughs> oh, you jerk. That's my wife. She's talking junk. She's talking the junkies. I hope you're watching, wifey. I hope you're watching. I'm watching you. How dare you? Alright, so who is this uh, evil person that we're supposed to put on Bone Nest? Why we gotta be pink for? Why can't we be green? I always gotta make sure that we we're, we're ready to attack. Let's go and fuck them up. Manual combat. All right. Let's get the show moving. This is kind of overkill. I guess I can't really do anything with them, huh? <laughs> well, that sucks. That's fine. I'm not upset about it. You are. You're about to get shot up. I feel like with this kind of force, they're kind of like walking into a damn trap. It's kind of silly. You have temporary and take in the hand of an independent army. While in control of free city of Marauders, you can issue orders to their units. Their ability to cast combat poses to disable during the independent turn. Tried to cast a K on me.
me, stab me. Shoot him. Is this overkill? Nah. survives it's one lucky son of a bitch that's all i gotta say if he survives lucky yeah you have managed to defeat your first infestation infestations are often found in valuable settlement locations the next step in the expansion of your empire could be to construct an outpost. Ooh, I think I will. I will take what raw shield. Is this a spell? Hell yeah, dude. That's crazy. I'll take it. of the time. Not too fucking shit. Not too shit. If I want to throw an outpost on this area, seems a little crowded. If I throw an outpost, it'll probably be here. I'm just glad I cleared that corruption. That's it. Is there anything else we need to take care of? I think, despite taking care of business here, I think that we, let me go ahead and check that out. I think it's pretty cool that I can build a treasure quarry. It's weird. Weird and interesting. Let's get some forestry up in here. Look like a perfect forest spot. What else we got? Ruler really leveled up. Well, what'd you get? Uh, let's see. Slight chance of instantly killing an injured target. This chance increases the lower the. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I'll take that. One skill point, huh? Hmm. Gotta give myself some archery. What do we have here? No 
other equipment yet, so we'll just have to hold off for a little bit. But I think I see my new target. Looks like we're going to take care of some business right here. This is the bounty panel. Here you can create a bounty to offer it to other rulers. Bounties are quests that are offered to other rulers in exchange for a reward. Bounties can target cities and important structures owned by enemies. I guess. Looks like he wants to uh, negotiate the bounty. All right, take it. You got 20 turns. If nobody does it, I keep my money. If somebody does do it, I get this fucking piece of shit out of my way. Thank God. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a save on here and yeah. Run. All right. Yes. All right, guys. I am uh, done with this one. Make sure you want to leave this room. Exit game. Oh man, dude. I I could probably, honestly, if I wasn't so busy, I could see myself spending hours on this game. I'm not even kidding you. It's that interesting. All right, we'll exit game. I like games like that. It, it really does. Uh, there's so much to do and so much to pay attention, but it like gives you kind of like a little bit of everything. It gives you the strategy. It gives you the. The city building, the army building, it gives you everything you want. in a nice little neat package. And they, they give you like a lot of customization and room to improve and grow so yeah i i fucking absolutely love games like that so i'll be looking forward to playing more of that in the near future so be expecting that every day at 9 30 on a thursday well 9 30 at night for me 9 30 night for you maybe or morning anyways to to cure the confusion why don't you just go ahead and follow me or subscribe to my youtube or you know my twitch channel and we can go ahead and discuss more stuff on my discord channel Woo! anyways uh that's it for today i will see you guys tomorrow thank you for joining me thank you for watching and as always it is a pleasure to have nasarne come by and visit he really is a, the epitome of like what a follower should be not an ostrich, uh, hasn't shown up in a while, so I'm guessing he's never going to come back. But let me tell you something, not an ostrich, if you do come back, you should really take note on how Nasarne is always there to hang out. Punk. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to go. It's late. I need some sleep. You guys need some rest. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.